planet, humans for years and years have dwelt with animals, both domestic and wild. The man can enjoy enormously from animal products and services, animals meat, milk, bones, eggs, feathers, skills, in some instances, ivory and manure. Basically, the entire animal is of great importance to man. <laughs> Notwithstanding the efficient services that animals offer, tourism, pleasure, companionship, transport, farming, you name it, animals have contributed to the mere existence and survival of mankind. While on the other hand, the animals benefit in some way from this relationship with humans. In this edition, we will focus on the benefits what animals can get from us. We trust that domestic animals have had their largest share of the cake. You know, um, sometimes if you throw little into the reserve, these animals can go and play with them. Sometimes they can get choked. They might even end up eating and uh, they die. That's why we are here to protect them and to make sure they are here for posterity, for future generations to find them here. We, we have a team that, um, like every week, they go around collecting litters from the reserve. And then uh, we, we put uh, dustbins in the entrances and the airstrips whereby the guests can uh, deposit l their litters after their game drives. Yes, uh, we have uh, park rules and regulations. We have the leaflets that we give to the tourists that has uh, all the rules and regulations of the park and uh, one of the rules is that uh, do not litter and um, if you if you're found littering there are some penalties that you'll be charged for doing that so they have the information before they enter the, the reserve uh, what i can tell them especially the locals they have to visit masai mara because there's there's a lot of things that they are missing out masai mara is uh, one of the best reserves in kenya and in africa and uh, it's one of the most visited places in Africa because uh, we have a lot to showcase from the game viewing, from the cultural villages, Maasai villages, from the balloon safaris and all that. So there's a lot of things that they are missing out. So let them visit Maasai Mara. We have two, uh, very um, friendly rates in Maasai Mara to encourage the local tourists, domestic tourists to visit Maasai Mara. <laughs> Wild animals exist in their natural ecosystems, in the waters, forests, bushes, deserts beneath the ground, let's just say, in the wilderness, wherever it is. With the increase in global human population, the wild animals ecosystem is greatly threatened by the expansion of human settlements, transportation system, and industrial development. Today, mankind harm, maim and even kill the very animals they depend on. Unfortunately, not for food, but for selfish reasons, such as poaching for illegal trade in animals' parts, such as ivory. Others simply kill the wild animals to display them in the living rooms and offices.
But that menace is perfectly handled at national and international levels. Then there's encroachment of forests and grasslands for human transportation and settlements. Sisi wote tunakubaliana. So I want to tell all of us, those of us who are leaders in the judiciary, those of us who are leaders in the executive, those of us who are leaders in the legislature, we are all subject to the constitution and the people of Kenya are sovereign. The government of Kenya, through its various agencies, including the environmental law courts, constantly put a spirited battle to protect these ecosystems. And that leaves us with the greatest risk to the world animals kingdom, human litter. So you asked uh, something about uh, global warming. Now, uh, you see both these uh, uh, greenhouse gases have a high global warming potential. Right? Yes. Methane for a start has uh, 21 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide. And uh, nitrous uh, uh, oxide on the other side has a whooping 310 times, 310 times the warming potential. And uh, we are just playing piki piki ponky with the features of the planet's atmosphere which may pro profoundly it may impact generations and generations to come. So we cannot continue like this. We can't. So we must make sure that we keep the environment clean. Good girls. In Masai Mara Game Reserve alone, approximately 10 million local and foreign tourists troop in annually to pay a visit to Africans' world heritage. Game reserves uh, and game parks are very important to our community, especially in the Naro County, where we have the game reserve, the famous Masai Mara game reserve, where we have communities surrendering their land for the sake of wild animals and also for the sake of our heritage. We have students who are under a scholarship from the group ranches from the Mara, a quite a uh, huge number of students are benefiting from the Masai Mara. The students also, uh, including the geography and biology students, often have trips to the Mara. And uh, the Naro County government has given us um, uh, subsidized, or sometimes we get into the park without paying because they consider the child of Naro County. So it is quite an advantage for us as an institution and to the students of Maasai Girls. So we we'll wish to appreciate those organizations in the Mara and also the families and groups that have decided to offer their land for the wildlife, which is a huge sacrifice and a great benefit to the community and the country as a whole. The rains will keep falling. The grass and plants will blossom in the savanna. The grasses will flourish. And the hunter animals will keep doing what they're good at. So long as we have a reason to come here, the Mara will survive. Oh, yeah. It is my first time visiting the Maasai Mara. I've seen a lot and I'm so happy because I've learned a lot. I've seen so many things. I've seen the wild animals and I was so happy. Don't even mention Vileni Veji Bamba. Hey, and I would love to come again and again. Wow.